so I'm assuming we won't need the small bomb. Now, I would assume if this ends up with us not going near the helipad. So I'm gonna assume if we mix B with A, we will get C right here. I'd like to do that. Get some submachine gun ammo, because we're pretty good on uh, shotgun shots. So. Should be good. So I wonder, I wonder if you can do the whole helicopter sequence and then just leave instead of, I mean like, not, like as in leave that scene and go back in the heel and... That'd be hilarious. Okay. So we need to go and check on our coiler whip off kill at all, which um hmm. Let's get back to the Wasn't there something over here I wanted to get, actually? I had, like, forgot about this. Ah, yeah, that's why. I was like, I remember there was a box, but I can't remember what the fuck was in it. Okay. I took us to the, the one boss over there. Uh. Hey Jack, how are you doing? Ah, let me up, him. See, the... did that take me up? I saw a zombie down there. This is a little peculiar. I never saw a zombie spawn down there before. Let's see, I'm trying to remember the quick way to get down. Actually, I need to get. I need to go over there. And yeah, 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 because that's. What I'm doing. So I need to run past these bastards over here. How you doing today, though, Jack? This is always the easy way. Bye bye, suckers! Special forces away! Hopefully, there ain't any new zombie ambushes anymore. Yeah, my way out loaded. So, how you doing today? Oh, you overslept? Oh no, you missed the walkout. <laughs> yeah, still don't really consider going through the graveyard really worth it. Okay, looks like one zombie. I'm just gonna kill her. Hey, right, let's see what she has to s Oh, she's gone. Hmm. Give me a second to get this. Well, good thing checking on hole got something. Let's see. Got a silver chest on both paths, so. I think lately in stream waiters, they, they, like, they used to make you have to choose between them, but lately it feels like they just put the same shit on the path now.
kind of makes it not really that meaningful to choose. Wait, that I cannot stay healing long. Oh, my navel's getting loudy. Hmm. So now that's down. Ah, so she has a cure. It looks like you can open that. Now, why do I want to open this? Nothing in here. Like, what was the point of that? That's timed. Oh, you're welcome. I, I said I would do that. And I went able to check it when I was checking some other Twitch stuff. So I was like, I'll go see that. So, yeah, I can have 10 VIPs. So I had openings still. So you've been a very common showy uppy person. So I think it's on either way. Okay, so she's gone, so but she gave us a cure, which or possible so technically actually I still need to go down now. I still need to go that way. Now there's probably a good chance there might be some things different, so I might want to actually take the opportunity and save because I mean it would be logical to likely take this loot, so so, yeah, so we'll save over that one. Oh, good, no dogs. Looks me. Well, what's your plans are for today? Luckily, you know, if I am lucky. You should finish this today. We only got a ending, so I imagine the way I'm going now shouldn't be too much bother. Yeah, got a good amount of submachine gun ammo and stuff, so. Of course. I do still need to get the new crit thing on my PC for the streaming side of things, though. That dang it. Hey, Zumbo. 
This is why I made some extra handgun ammo. So the, the thing is, she's gone. So, so my theory on that might got fucked up. Now I'm wondering if this will be timed. Time off. So who's this gonna be for? There's a medical thing just in between two fans. Who does that? No, like seriously. Who puts a medical thing between two fans? Did these guys get here actually? Still waiting for the... Oh, did you see, um, I saw on, uh, Twiddle, they're making a power wash plushie. I was like, out of all the characters to make a plushie of, that would have been way on the bottom of my list. But hey, you know, if you're interested in that, <laughs> might want to look into it, but I... Not exactly what I would have expected. Oh no, I hear dogs. Oh. Okay, so I can't just inject it in myself. Okay, so it's locked. Well, this is gonna probably turn pretty nasty, but we'll see what happens. Dogs, I hate them. Oh, is power si power wash simulator a VR also? Huh. Ghostbusters. They're apparently making another Ghostbusters movie. I guess that that uh, third sequel uh, turned out pretty good. I mean, to be fair, it would have been really hard to make it worse than the, uh, the female reboot thing. So what we got going on back here? Oh! How the fuck did you get here? Wait. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, what? I'm opening up. Give me a second here. Mute that. Give me a second here. I gotta check this. The ending, the ending. So. I'm re looking at the color of the text. So. The one requesting the helicopter is a darker wind. Somebody walks out. Looks up. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think it looks a lot lighter than her color of her text. That would be creepy if somehow she was actually abducting afterlife. Babu. Yeah, some tells me he's gonna be the boss on this path. Silly thing like that. Well, I'm assuming it's five for this thing. I guess that walks. And just conveniently a cave back here. Oh, nice. Can't complain about that. Huh. I don't like the looks of this womb. It looks large and boss-like. Oh, 
West of my submachine gun, you know. That was meant to be a uh, vandal or something else, but well, either way, uh, yeah, and they blocked us in, so. And I'm kind of trapped in here. Was I supposed to shoot these, maybe? Can't get out of here. Oh, I see now. I can't go back the way she came from. Blown away complaint little. Can't get on a gun thing either. So, is that all there is? Let's keep these passages a narrow person can get through. Need more gas. Oh, yo, oh, fuck you. Gonna be one last problem, huh? Fuck you! Last time you're gonna get my fucking one. Auto save? Fuck. If I have to do all that again, that's gonna suck.
that's stupid. You basically have to take a hit, it looks like. Maybe if you use an electric grenade on it, maybe that would stop it. It looks like there was a ladder at the end now, though. So where the hell did she go exactly, though? Unless... No, well, that wasn't shootable, so I'm not sure. Fuck out. So hopefully it's a more happy ending. And we got a car, oh, sweet. Hopefully she didn't get infected. Oh, and there's the helicopter. Looks like they left room for another game. It said that again. Safely in I What are they talking about? doesn't make sense. Unless... Maybe they mean... See, it's not really clear if that monster was Alexander or not. I mean, they were thought to me as the second house, so... I... I mean, they did say something about cloning. Maybe they made the clone? It looks like I didn't unlock anything for that. Didn't it? So I'm kind of curious to see what the uh, what this new game plus option thing is. Because it said ammo catch. So I'm wondering how that works. Cause it makes it sound like it's like an infinite, um, infinite ammo option. Oh, you gotta get pistol force. So I'm assuming it's just infinite ammo. It's 
My guess. Well, I wanna test it out, so. came across anything like this again. Probably all there was was the, yeah, the pod thing. Which... And it should be, I think it was upstairs, I believe. But yeah, I'm assuming these are infinite. Which would really make uh, the auto modes easier, I imagine. <laughs> It's just infinite ammo. Nice. So yeah, that basically allows you to make the, the auto difficulties a lot easier. So I want to see what the machine gun uses. Something else. Oh, doesn't use heavy. Whatever it uses. I guess it unlocks maybe its own ammo type, maybe? I mean, I actually got through the game with a good amount of ammo to spare, too. I'm assuming that was all the endings. I'll take a quick peek. say anything on any of that.
Oh, you know, this is actually a nice explanation. Actually, I didn't think about that. I'm looking up to see if there's any other endings, and someone pointed out, what about all those places you can't fit in? And they're like, when you think about it, it explains how she got for the inn without going the way we did. And it's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. See here, here's one talking about how many there are. Yeah, it looks like there's only two endings, so yeah. That looks like that's pretty much it on that regard. So that's good. So I kinda I kinda feel like it's a little like a miss like you know, something I did like in the first one was that you had the um the ending of taking that secret passage in that office. I kinda actually liked it that, so that's kind of a shame they didn't throw in a Third secret ish one like that, so. So that's pretty nice. You get to unlock like infinite ammo, you can fuck around with that, which is a classic thing Resident Evil games have done. I still don't know what this code thing is for, though. I guess we could take a quick peek at that, too, actually, since I'm on here. So let's see what Steam's community thing is. Code. See what the code in the option menu. Okay, two two nine seven four three. How oh, code you have unlocked bright color hair set. What? And ah, this is C H O U F E N G F C R A C Y. If I want the transmittal, what the fuck do those do? Ma, materials. Kind of dull. What can I change? What the fuck? Disguised as a car key. On the back it says, in the hallway of the security west room. Okay, now, now I'm kind of curious. Security west room. One little extra mystery, I guess? Let's look into it. Kind of a weird thing to have as a code. We might as well get the other thing too. We can take a look at it if we happen to go that way.
feeling of this was kind of maybe a backlog thing if this had like a Kickstarter style page because I know like Darkwood, um, that chest at the beginning of Darkwood, the combination for that was a, a Kickstarter thing. What? What the fuck? What the hell is that supposed to be? Okay, so forced. Security West Room. So that would be all the way over there. So yeah, we basically have to go near the beginning. So yeah, we can check out what the this fucking outfit is. This ought to be interesting. Fuck the elevator door, you fool. Like, is this supposed to be a reference to some other game? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is super not Resident Evil-ish. I mean, it doesn't look like any kill that I went. Oh, he's off the top of my head. Wait, 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 it should be this one here. Hallway in the hallway of the so oh this oh what in the hell is this oh hi. a different looking outfit. My shampoo bottles. A greasy hair set. A bunch of shampoo bottles back here. I'm gonna hit this a few times just see if it does something. Why is it all like it's like some weird radio room or something? What a bizarre ass fucking secret. What the fuck the hell was the point of that? <laughs> you know, considering this whole outfit thing, like, it feels like a lot of this was a missed opportunity for some... So, what the hell is this? Hey, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be references to something? Maybe it's a... Was a kickback, uh, a kickback or thing?
see, is somebody asking where they came from. Nobody seems to know. Curious. Weird. Oh, hey, Pad. How you do? You're kickbackle. Uh, definitely way bigger. Uh, we have finished it. It's done. Oh, look, it actually changed his his profile profit, like his picture on the bottom. Because, like, the other one didn't. Like, this bike color one just leaves him as normal. And I think, did it change it with the special uniform? Well, it changed the shoulder pads. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a kickback, uh, a Kickstarter reward. Um, there is a new game plus option that gives you infinite ammo catches, but uh, I went back into my old save to see these code things, so I don't know if these are kickback, a uh, kickback old codes or something. That's my best guess, because the characters don't look familiar to me. I mean, it's a nice outfit, but it doesn't look like something in a horror setting type thing. It looks like something that I should be running around like a western ball with this one. But yeah, interesting that there was just a, a secret room at the beginning of the game that you have to put in a code to access. That was my first guess, but like this thing here... Like, the zombie that was in here was wearing a unique thing of clothing. And that symbol on the sleeve was on the t-shirt the zombie had, so I'm wondering... The armband is printed with a mysterious oriental character. It seems like the owner has some stories to tell. Hmm. I don't know, I, I want to say this, at least, was a kickback. A kickback or type thing, maybe, but I don't know if it actually was. Well, the clothing thing is something you do at the beginning of a normal game, because you have to get into the security outfit. So, at the beginning of the game, you're trapped over here until you get the security outfit. And then that lets you go through here, because for some reason, even if you're infected, uh, there's some bug that one of the notes tells you lets security people through regardless of the virus. So, it's actually something you do early on in the playthrough regardless. But, yeah, I mean, it, it works out for extra outfits of that. And then, like, to get the helicopter ending we did, you have to wear this special forces uniform. But, yeah, we just did the two endings. As far as I could tell, there's no other endings. I was just... Because, like I said, you know, I, I didn't know what it was for, so I looked it up. And uh, it seems to be the only two things. Also, it looks like the transmittal has that killer on it, too. Yeah, so basically, if you look in the top left, we have, we either follow what Alexander recommended, or we do the Operation 2 plan and escape as a Special Forces. So, we find several notes of the Special Forces guy we found. He was looking for Alexander, so once we led him to it, he went and tried to kill him. So, we can go to the helipad, fire boss there, and get out of here through the helicopter. Or Alexander's recommendation was to go through the ventilation chute and go through the old construction and get out on the road. Nope. Though the helicopter is interesting, actually. I can show you it. We're doing this just for pad. Because it's really easy to get to the helicopter. So I do give a lot of props for the helicopter ending boss fight. The, the escape tunnel one, it's the same boss with kind of the same concept. The only difference is the uh, K is on a mounted machine gun. She doesn't really shoot very often. Well, the helicopter you can get to assist you in a very neat way. So I actually liked it that. Especially since I have a bazillion grenades. So it actually gives me something to do. Oh, hey, uh, you actually fucking scared me. Fucking asshole. I hope these guys didn't respawn. But here, let me show you what you can do. Ah, fuck, they respawned. God damn it. Yeah, 
that worked out. did a pre like I was concerned about the enemies respawning in certain places but considering like I'm not the greatest survival horror person look how much shit I survived to the end of the game with I have still lots of spores for grenades technically there's a few things in the graveyard I could even loot got still lots of painkillers look at all the orbs and you can give the orbs to the NPCs when they're still available for extra ammo. And then look at all the gunpowder I have that I can still make shitloads of ammo and I can mix them to get other types of ammo. So, like, I honestly still, I'm still loaded with a lot of fucking shit. So, I ended up being pretty good. So, I'm glad I didn't worry about doing, a. Uh, Casual mode. I mean, I don't think I'm absolutely horrible at survival horror stuff, but I mean, like, I'm also not the, the best at it. <laughs> but yeah, so, here's the boss. So here's how this is different. So if you throw a grenade, the fucking helicopter will go and fucking bomb him. But they bomb the location of the grenade. You gotta be careful of that. Because you can get hurt by it too. And you get extra bang for your buck. So I, I actually thought that was a pretty clever thing to do. But yeah. I don't know, I've played- there were several survival horror games I've never beaten. Now, when I first got in survival horror games, I did play a number of them on more casual modes. So, I've definitely gotten better. Like, I mean, I actually went through one scenario of OG Resident Evil 2 on normal. That was one of my first times playing one of the older RE games actually on normal. Oh, now, see, there was one I never beat, and I I got two of the scenarios done, and I got to Cashman's, and, like, technically, you can do all the scenarios in any order, actually. Yes, it is. But, yeah, I couldn't get through Cashman's, like, I kept losing, because if you don't know Cashman's uh, scenario, I'm assuming you do know Cashman's scenario if you're talking about it. That scenario is the only one that's kind of reversed from the objective of all the other ones. You start with your prize money and you lose it through the course of the stage versus getting the prize money at the end of the stage. So, like... So, Cashman was a story about a greedy man with a store and shit. So, you get all the cash prize and every time you get scared and shit, you lose it. So, basically, the more you fail at a stage, the more prize money you lose. So, like, I just got stuck on Cashman's scenario, and technically I could have tried the other ones, but I just didn't. I, I got the... No, wait, I... I did three of them, actually. Because I also did the woodcutter stage. I did save Brad. Without his brain, though. I didn't get his brain, so he was a dumbass. <laughs> but I did the, uh, the fourth stage for the psychic goal, the second stage with the little gremlin goblin things for the, the... No, the goblin... Was it the goblin one? Wait, I'm trying to remember. No, the goblin one was with the sand wall. Yeah, the fourth one was the baseball... Wait. No, the psychic goal was with the goblins, and the, the guy was with the baseball guy in the fourth stage. Oh my goodness. And getting that second ending, holy shit. Though I imagine doing the second playthrough for the, the other ending is a lot is easier. Oh yeah, I totally agree. 
Honestly, I've actually been tempted to play Ill Bleed again. Like, I mean, like, you gotta keep in mind, when I first played it, I was in, like, fucking late middle school or early high school at this. Like, that was a long fucking time ago. I've obviously honed way better gaming skills. Now, can I still beat it? I don't know. It's fucking hard, though. That, I can definitely agree, Ill Bleed is not for the, uh, the, the that weak of heart. That is a game that you need some RNG luck with it too. So, 